How to choose a traditional wedding dress. Welcome to Video Jug. If you're having a big wedding or getting married in a church, you'll probably choose to wear a traditional wedding gown. We've come to Arvella Bridal in Hampshire to show you how to choose the perfect traditional wedding dress. Step 1. Dress budget. First of all, decide on the budget for your dress. Nobody will know what you spent on your dress if you don't tell them. A dress can cost £200 or £2,000 and no one will know but you. It's important to set a limit so you don't fall for a dress you actually can't afford. Designer dresses can set you back £4,000 or more. Many high street stores now sell dresses, or if budgets are tight, look out for dresses on sale or second-hand dresses in wedding shops. And remember to factor in alteration costs for your dress. These can be as much as £150 per dress. Step 2. Going shopping. Most wedding dress shops now ask that you make an appointment. Take your mum, sister, best friend or bridesmaid to give you an objective opinion on the dresses. Always take underwear with you when trying dresses on. Strapless bras and a pair of heels help to get a better idea of what the dress will look like. When trying dresses on, practice walking around in them and also sitting down in them. You'll be wearing the dress all day so it has to be comfortable and enjoyable to wear. Step 3. The right style for you. There are a number of different dress styles available to choose from that will flatter different body shapes. If you'd like to see some suggestions, watch the video jug film How to Choose the Right Wedding Dress for Your Body Shape. Step 4. White or not. Don't feel you have to wear white on your wedding day. It's just a tradition. We all have different skin tones, so white won't suit everyone. Cream, ivory, coffee colour, peach, even pale pink or blue are all common for traditional wedding dresses nowadays. Step 5. Which fabric? When deciding on the fabric of your dress, think about when and where your wedding is taking place. If it's during the winter months, you could use heavy, thick fabrics with fake fur and velvet incorporated. If you're getting married during the summer, you'll want lighter fabrics like chiffon, voile, cotton, lace or satin. Step 6. Call for the dressmaker. If you've found a style of dress you love but just can't justify the cost, think about asking a dressmaker to make you something similar at a fraction of the cost. The dressmaker will suggest different fabrics or ideas which will keep the cost down and the dress can then be customised to incorporate aspects of different dresses you've seen. Give your dressmaker four to six months to make your gown. For rush orders, most dressmakers ask for surcharges. Step 7. The veil. It is entirely up to you whether you wear a veil or not. Veils are very traditional, but if you're uncomfortable or think they're just another thing to worry about or an unnecessary expense, then you're not expected to wear one. For more information on veils, go to the video jug film How to Choose a Veil. Step 8. Look like you. Your husband-to-be is marrying you, not something out of a wedding magazine, so you do need to look like you. And remember, you have to wear your dress for a whole day and look back at the photos for years to come. Choosing a dress that looks the height of fashion now may look very dated in your wedding pictures. You have been warned. Congratulations! Now you know how to choose a traditional wedding dress.